Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. So, Jay, I was just working on a project where I was trying to make an iPhone app, and it turned out that because I don't own a Mac, I couldn't make an iPhone <laughs> app. And then I was talking to you, and you were telling me how we could actually do this out in the cloud, and I didn't need a, to go buy one of those? Yeah, that's one of the use models that we actually came up for with, with our Rohub offering, which is mobile development in the cloud. So people have been able to develop in the cloud for a long time, but the idea of doing it for one or more mobile devices is where Rowmobile really had the breakthrough. And the idea is that because we have not only app generation, but we actually have simulation in the cloud, you can actually write your, your application once and then target it in the cloud for these various devices. So we see um, a lot of use for people who are Windows developers who want to create iPhone apps, right? Maybe they're already creating Windows CE or Windows Mobile or Windows Phone 7, but they say, gosh, but I also want to target the iPhone. Likewise, we see Mac developers who say, I really want to also have an Android app. So they're able to do that. And, and I don't even need the actual phone. Like I can develop and test and test against the you know, Android and the iPhone and the Windows phone. And That's the hard work that we actually do is to create these simulators in the cloud that let you actually see what it's going to look like on a different platform and actually go through that entire debug and edit and fix um, cycle very, very quickly, faster than it's ever been possible in mobile before, you know, down to two or three seconds per fix, because we can build and rebuild very, very quickly. So you don't need the devices. Now, we sometimes recommend if you're going to create a commercial offering, you might want to at the end actually get the real device and try it, but that's a lot different than actually having to buy out an entire lab to make sure you can, you can uh, write and test on the various platforms. Well, and of course, because you know this is going to be some web thing, I won't have access to the GPS or any of the, the hardware stuff? No, no, actually, you're creating an absolutely native app. I mean, one of the things that we're firm believers in is that, look, we want people to be able to use their web skills. But what users have said more than anything is, I want to have a native app. I want to be able to use not only the native capabilities like GPS, like accelerometer, like, like all of the wonderful things that come in these increasingly powerful phones, but I also like the way that those apps work. They tend to be more task focused than a website, which tend, you know, when people are thinking about web development, they tend to be thinking more menus and lots of choices. And anyone who's ever tried to use the web, a website on a small phone, it's kind of a pain in the neck. So the idea is, no, you are going to be able to target an absolutely native application in the cloud without having to have the equipment yourself. That's really cool, especially since I didn't really want to go out and buy a Mac. <laughs> well, I think Macs are pretty cool, but from a business perspective, that's why we created Rohub, and that's one of the use models that we're really excited about. Locker Gnome coverage of OSCON is brought to you by HP.